Hello everyone, welcome to HAS Cakes and my name is Deepak. Next point we are going to talk about is linting. Linting is a very important aspect of any application. Basically linting enforces coding style in terms of how many space it needs to have in the next line, what is the indentation it's going to have and the other details such as double quotes in the string or single quotes on the string. In order to add linting in the project, we really need to go to the Chrome browser where we have the documentation available for Angular. Search for lint. Have to scroll down to this point over here. And as it says that to or to to use the ng lint command, we need to first of all add ng lint. So go back to the VS Code. And in the VS Code, we're just going to be opening another bash terminal like this. It tells us we need to add the linting now. Say yes. It'll take a while and add the ES lint in our application. Say yes to it. I'm just going to pause it until the installation is complete and I'll resume it once the installation completes. Now we can see the linting is added in the project and as it is added in the project it has basically created some of the entries in angular json and also it has created a file over here called dot eslintrc.json if you click on the dot eslintrc.json you would notice that it has certain rules written over here right so the first rule which is a very important rule is that it shows an error in case of a directive selector doesn't start with students details so these type of rules enforces every other developer in your team to follow certain guidelines or coding standards so for an example in this case as we can see it has to be student details starting of any directive similarly if the component selector is not starting with student details that is also going to be an error we will see an example later in the in this tutorial if i try to give directive a name which doesn't start with student details and that would throw an arrow that we will see later but for now just understand that this is how it is going to be there's another very important rule that i always give in my personal applications is that i give the indentation correct right so in order to have the indentation correct let's add another rule which is at the rate type script if in yes lint slash indent let's make it two comma four two tabs four spaces for indentation i just save this I just start the application once again. Now our application has started again. So there are no errors on the console. So we can consider comfortably that ES link has been added, the rules has, have been added. Now quickly we are also going to be seeing the Angular JSON file again that we have given a description of earlier in the tutorial. If you look at line number 97 and below, you would notice that some of the entries with the object property name as link have been added in this file so it basically tells angular compiler to make use of builder lint in case if it is linting and the linting file needs to be checked for all the dot ts and noise dot html files now uh, there is another important file that 
we need to talk about is the dsconfig.json. If you notice dsconfig.json, as I said earlier, Angular does not really make use of JavaScript directly. Well, it can, but it doesn't. We do the typing, the component, and directive in every other Angular, it, every other Angular code in TypeScript. And then the TypeScript is transpiled into JavaScript that runs in your browser. So this particular file tells your Angular CLI and the project the details about the TypeScript language. So you can see compile on save, compiler option, how die, how, how dir target in the module and the details listed here. All these details are pertaining to TypeScript. The Angular compiler options are also given over here. But now it is just important to understand that the dsconfig.json holds details about TypeScript language. Last thing to look at about the linting is to run the linting command and see if the linting works correctly in our application or not. So ng lint. Will display errors, warnings from all the files that we have created by the rules defined in angular.json, eslintrc.json. As you can see, it has failed at multiple places and it has also displayed errors that have come especially about indentation. So if you look at the second last line of the error, it says that 29 errors and zero warning potentially fixable with the hyphen hyphen fix option. So what this option is that ng-lint provides an option. If you give with the hyphen hyphen fix flag, it tries to fix all the indentation errors, or all the errors that it can fix from the command line utility. Let's try to run this utility. Now you can see that it has fixed most of the error except the first one. So remember that the error or the selector we spoke about that if your prefix is not student's details, it is going to be failing. This essentially is the reason why it has failed over here. So we'll have to go to this component and then ensure that it starts with students' details and try to run the command again. Now you can see the command line that all the files in the student's details application has passed the link.